Welcome to another product training module from Murata Power Solutions. In the next several minutes, we will be presenting the features and benefits of the new PAH series of high power isolated DC to DC converters developed specifically for RF power amplifier applications. Please note that throughout this module, various tables and diagrams are presented that contain detailed information. Should you care to view this information in more detail before proceeding to the next slide, you may click the pause button at the bottom left of the screen. Then click the play button when you are ready to resume the audio. Should you have any questions after viewing this module, contact details for our sales support team are provided at the end and can also be found in the attachments tab on the left hand side of this window. PAH is an acronym for Power Amplifier Half Brick. The series was developed as an application-specific solution for radio frequency power amplifiers widely used in communications today. Typical applications include wireless and radio communications equipment, CATV systems, as well as microwave applications. However, RF power amplifiers are not limited to communications applications. They are also used in a variety of industrial, scientific, and medical applications. Power amplifiers use various material technologies, that is, the materials from which the amplifier transistors are constructed. These include gallium arsenide, gallium nitride, gallium arsenide gallium nitride hybrid, gallium nitride silicon carbide hybrid, as well as silicon in LDMOS and VDMOS varieties. Various considerations make each of these materials appropriate for specific end uses, but cellular infrastructure is currently dominated by LDMOS technology. To address the full range of power amplifier voltage requirements, Murata Power Solutions has developed three base models comprising the PAH series. Two models with a nominal output voltage of 28 volts and one model with a nominal output of 53 volts. Each of these voltages is appropriate to different power amplifier technologies, and these are shown here for each model. The total power of these models spans 350 to 450 watts, as shown on the far right. DC to DC converters for power amplifiers have different characteristics from standard DC to DC converters. First, the output voltages are unique, as already discussed. Secondly, in order to optimize the operating efficiency of an RF power amplifier, the applied voltage must be fine-tuned. Thus, while ordinary brick-type converters offer a typical output voltage adjustment range of plus and minus 10% of the nominal output voltage, DC to DC converters for power amplifiers must offer a much wider range of adjustment to allow users to attain the optimum input voltage for their power amps. The trim range of the PAH models generally span a range of about 2 to 1, for example, 16.8 to 32.2 volts for the 28 volt models. Third, dynamic load response must be fast to respond to the high transient demands of these RF applications. Lastly, thermal management is paramount owing to the conduction cooled enclosures in which these parts commonly reside. This requires not only high efficiency, but intensive thermal design to ensure that all waste heat is conducted efficaciously through the integral base plate. The PAH series standard features include a wide 2 to 1 input range of 36 to 75 volts 
and outputs of 28 volts at 12 amps, 28 volts at 16 amps, and 53 volts at 8.5 amps of current in an industry standard, DOSA compatible, low profile half brick package. These converters boast high efficiencies that simplify thermal management and increase operating time when the system reverts to battery operation. For systems requiring controlled startup and or shutdown, remote on-off control is provided. Users can also trim the output voltage of the PAH series up or down over a wide 2 to 1 range with a single external trim resistor. The PAH series operates over the industrial temperature range of minus 40 degrees Celsius to plus 85 degrees Celsius. These PAH converters all have input-output isolation of 2250 volts with basic insulation. All models are certified to ULEN IEC 60950-1 second edition safety standards and are ROS 6 compliant. The PAH models are available with optional features such as threaded or unthreaded mounting inserts on the optional base plate, conformal coating, three pin lengths, and positive or negative control logic for the remote on-off feature. It is noteworthy to mention that the base plate option is an important feature in many communications equipment applications where the converter and power amplifier are co-located within a weatherproof housing. This assembly is known as a remote radio head and sits at the base of an outdoor antenna. In such cases, the only method of cooling available is by conduction, where the base plate thermal interface is essential. We examine this in more detail on the next slide. In order to accommodate different mounting circumstances, the PAH series has two configurations for the base plate as illustrated here. The first has unthreaded inserts allowing for a threaded screw to pass through to a tapped hole in the chassis or heat sink. As the screws are tightened, the base plate is drawn down to establish intimate thermal contact with the thermal interface. The second configuration has threaded inserts in the PAH base plate. In this configuration, the securing screw would typically come from the opposite side of the chassis or heatsink. As the screws are tightened, the PAH base plate is again drawn down to the thermal interface. To ensure maximum transfer of heat, compliance of the mating surfaces is a paramount concern. To improve compliance, thermal compounds or gap pads are frequently used to compensate for the microscopic imperfections of the mating surfaces.
The PAH series incorporates the standard array of self-protection features for brick format products, which prevent both converter and external circuit hazards. These include input undervoltage lockout that prevents the converter from drawing too much input current should the input voltage fall below the operating minimum. Remember that a DC to DC converter is essentially a constant power load, so as the input voltage falls, the input current must rise to maintain constant power output. Both circuit traces and components on the customer's board and internal to the converter have limits on the current they can handle, so as the input voltage falls, the converter must shut down before any damage can occur to either. Over temperature shutdown protects the converter from inadequate cooling in the customer's application. This could occur due to excessive ambient operating temperatures, fan failure, or filter blockage. Output current limiting, using the hiccup auto restart technique, protects both the converter and the customer's printed circuit card from excessive currents resulting from other component failures on the customer's board. The PAH series has the current limit inception set high to allow it to deliver power surges of up to 120% of the rated maximum for short periods. Output over voltage protection prevents damage to costly and sensitive components on the customer's boards due to any control loop failure in the converter. And lastly, reverse conduction elimination prevents the converter from startup problems and sinking current should voltage from another source be present on the output terminals of the converter. To date, MPS has developed two specials to meet unique customer requirements using the PAH platform. The first is the PAH-32-14-D48, which delivers 32 volts at 14 amps from a 2 to 1 input range of 36 to 75 volts. Intended for use with standard 28-volt power amplifier technologies, the customer preferred to have the output nominal set at the top end of the trim range so that all adjustments would be down from 32 volts. This allows them to accomplish their fine tuning with only a trim down resistor rather than both trim up and trim down resistors. This simplifies the printed circuit board configuration as well as the production processes surrounding optimization of the power amplifier efficiency. The second special model developed using the PAH platform is a 408 watt unit that delivers 48 volts at 8.5 amps. The application has nothing to do with RF power amplifiers, but these bricks power the fan tray in an ATCA chassis. The PAH series was selected as the platform for this custom model simply because of its ability to deliver 48 volts at the required power level. However, with a trim range of 24 volts to 50.4 volts, this model could be used with 50 volt LDMOS power amplifiers. While both of these models were developed as specials, they will be available to all customers. The datasheets will be posted to the website along with those for the three original PAH models. We want to remind you here once again that MPS is open to specials and customs on all converter products. The advantages of such solutions include sole sourced print position and higher margins, as well as stronger customer relationships that lay the groundwork for future program opportunities, both standard and custom. A business case must be made for each opportunity, but know that the threshold for the annual volume is generally proportional to the engineering effort. Thus, specials with small modifications will have lower thresholds, while major modifications will normally require higher annual volumes. The only model of our PAH series that has a full field of competitive counterparts is the PAH-28-12.5-D48. You'll note that the PAH meets or exceeds the performance of all competitive models in most categories, making it the best all-around choice. It has the broadest output voltage adjustment range, the highest efficiency, the highest isolation, the best insulation, and the highest operating temperature range. The other three models of the PAH series essentially have few peer products, so we omit comparison tables for these. This fact gives MPS a strong competitive edge in this application-specific market segment. The most fundamental applications for the PAH are in RF power amplifier applications that include 
wireless communication systems such as WiMAX, 4G, and LTE, CATV systems, satellite communications block up converters, RF test equipment, MRI imaging equipment, RF laboratory and test equipment, as well as optical driver amplifiers and radar systems for weather and navigation. The most prominent names in the communications equipment space are Alcatel Lucent, Nokia Systems, Ericsson Networks, Huawei, and ZTE, just to name a few. Power amplifier and radio subsystem OEMs include Comscope Andrew and PowerWave. However, the PAH series may find wide use outside of RF power amplifiers. Given the wide trim range, these converters can be trimmed to deliver any voltage in the range of 16.8 to 55.65 volts. Thus, the PAH solutions can be used in any application that requires an input voltage in this range. For business or technical product support, our support team is available to help you in your sales engagements. For technical inquiries, please contact any member of the support team delineated here. Our applications and technical marketing engineers are available for more in-depth product queries, and our field applications engineers can be contacted for North American, Japan, China, and EMEA inquiries. For product management, contact Bill Smith for questions regarding modified standard opportunities, special price requests, and roadmap inquiries for the PAH series, as well as any high-power industrial or brick format products. Data sheets, application notes, video tutorials, and other resources can be found on our company website. Training materials such as this presentation, sales tools, and other useful links are available on the Power Channel, our 24-7 extranet site. Our global support teams are also available should you require assistance or further information. Full contact details for our global support teams are available on the Power Channel, or you can also click on the Attachments tab on the left-hand side of this window and select Contact List. Thank you for watching this new product introduction training module. We hope you found it useful and relevant. Should you have any questions for the author, please click on the question mark at the bottom right of the window and select Email a Question. This module will expire two weeks following the initial product launch date. However, you may download a copy of this PowerPoint presentation file from the Power Channel under Pitch Packs. Furthermore, to access other training modules, simply go to the Power Channel University website where you may also contact the program administrator for any questions or suggestions regarding curriculum or content. Thanks for your time and have a great day.